So you've done your daily inspection of your foot and you discovered an area called an ulcer. What an ulcer is, it's a breakdown in your skin. It's a chronic problem. It's not something as simple as a cut or a scratch, which typically heals uneventfully. This is a chronic problem that has developed slowly over time. Typically an ulcer will occur in an area of your foot where people would typically develop a callus, such as the ball of your foot, the tip of your toe, the inside of your great toe, any high pressure area where you might develop a callus is a potential site for an ulceration. The difference is that the callus site is then progressed to actually break down the deeper layer of skin. Three things have to be in place for this ulcer to develop. One, you have to have a neuropathy typically. Typically, neuropathy prevents you from being able to feel the changes taking place in the foot to let you know that the, the skin is beginning to break down. These types of changes would include heat or pain or swelling, um, but with neuropathy, you don't feel these types of things. The next thing is uh, pressure. There's some sort of minor trauma, which is repetitive trauma to the area, simply from walking day to day, which causes the callus to form, or it can be an isolated event. Maybe you stepped on something on, on the bottom of your foot and caused a puncture or breakdown in the skin. Uh, it progresses to an ulceration when diabetes fails to allow your foot to heal properly. And the reason it does that is because diabetes affects the blood flow to your foot, which then prevents your body's own growth factors or, or healing uh, enzymes and things to pre present in the wound site to allow it to heal in a normal fashion. Uh, it also suppresses your immune function, so it keeps you from developing an appropriate immune response to fight off whatever infectious processes or nasty bugs might be present in the wound site. Uh, as it develops, it'll become red. Oftentimes, ulcers will also have a large amount of callus formed around the margin of the wound. At first, when you first notice it, it may actually be covered by a large portion of callus, but you, but you can feel it and you'll notice that there's either fluid draining from the site, which might be pus, might be blood, it might be a clear yellow fluid uh, called plasma or serous fluid. Uh, all these are indication that something more serious than a plain callus has gone on. It also may actually progress to the point where, where the callus falls off the top of the wound site and you actually have an open red wound at that site um, with a different kind of tissue that you probably have never seen before. Those are all things that should prompt you to call your doctor and get in for follow-up. If you can't get in or call immediately, you should clean the area with dilute soap and water and cover with an antibiotic ointment and stay off the area as much as possible. The primary problem with ulceration for people when they develop it is that they've had too much pressure on the bottom of the foot and relieving this pressure is one of the more key factors in developing a treatment plan for this as well. So you can start this yourself initially by getting off your foot as much as you possibly can, even if it includes using crutches until you see your doctor.